This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. A wintry storm system is sticking around our area tonight, continuing to bring snowy conditions to the higher elevations. Stormwatch tops Channel 2 News at 6.30. You're definitely going to want to pack some chains in that car if you are headed up into the higher elevations tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Wendy DeMonte. I'm Kristen Remington. Glad you can be with us tonight. We do begin with Stormwatch team coverage for you once again. Adam Barajikal is live on Mount Rose Highway with a look at how NDOT is keeping the roads clear up there, especially when storms hit. But first, let's start with Chloe Beardsley in the Weather Center. Chloe, are we seeing more snow down in the valleys tonight? You know, it really doesn't look like we're going to get the snow in the valley, but we are certainly going to see a little bit of rain shower activity this evening. We're actually st already starting to see it in the Spanish Springs area. Here's a look at our pinpoint radar up to the minute. We're certainly getting the on and off showers in the Lake Tahoe area, mostly rain, but we're going to start to see the snow showers later on this evening, especially in some of the higher elevated parts of the Sierra. Also tonight we do have a winter storm warning in effect until tomorrow morning 4 a.m. for periods of that snowfall. Here's a look at uh, controls right now. No controls on Echo Pass, but if we take a look, we do have a high wind advisory in effect for portions of Donner Pass this evening. Certainly be careful, especially if you're driving one of those higher profile vehicles. Chains and snow tires are required on the Mount Rose Pass this evening. Conditions outside right now, mostly cloudy skies, but we are going to see some isolated showers to scattered showers later this evening. Temperatures are in the 50s right now at the Reno Airport. Winds about 14 miles an hour blowing from the south around the region. Temperatures are in the 40s in Lake Tahoe. Else we're seeing those temperatures also in the 40s and still in the 50s in Fallon. Now we'll see this winter storm continue through the evening. A very slight chance of showers can be expected tomorrow. Expect mostly cloudy conditions to continue tonight. Snow in the mountains, rain in the valley, and tomorrow morning we may wake up to a few isolated showers. We're going to see more of that moisture continue around the Lake Tahoe area and areas above 7,000 feet. We'll talk about a dry trend we're actually going to see headed our way coming up in the full weather segment. I'll send it back to you guys for now. All right, Chloe, very good. Thank you. And the Nevada Department of Transportation has been busy over the last few days clearing snow on the roads like up on Mount Rose Highway. Adam Barahachakal joins us now live there. Adam, how are the roads out there tonight? Yeah, Kristen, it's getting pretty slippy right here at the summit. Unfortunately, it appears that people are taking it pretty easy right now. And, you know, crews have spent the last several months preparing for these conditions in both the mountain and valley areas. We've gone through all of our equipment to make sure that, you know, everything's uh, in good working order. Well, Marty told me there wasn't much snow to clear out in the Reno area. It was mainly slush, so it was a quick job for those crews. We were up here in Mount Rose Highway yesterday, and it was certainly a different story. Trucks spent all day plowing snow and laying down sand and salt brine to make it easier for drivers to get through. And they're asking people to take it easy on the road and be patient so that they don't get themselves into any accidents. And that means not passing N dot trucks to try to save yourself some time. I know people are in a hurry, but um, they need to let us do our job and uh, instead of, you know, trying to pass us in a hurry. And it usually causes more problems. And remember, you can always check the latest road conditions by dialing 511 or head to our website at ktvn.com and click on the road conditions button at the top of the page. Covering Stormwatch live on Mount Rose Highway, Adam Barahatical, Sentinel 2 News.